deserts of the Southwest are some of the most beautiful and biologically diverse places on the planet. Drought conditions are normal in these arid regions, and the indigenous species have adapted to these harsh environments in order to survive. For example, the kangaroo rat gets all the water it needs from the food it eats. Other animals, like desert bighorn sheep, have the ability to go for long periods of time without water and still avoid dehydration. When the desert regions began being converted to agricultural and urban areas, there was less water available for wildlife, and what water was available was more difficult for them to get to. Personally, I feel like that uh, we have altered the landscape by our presence. Uh, we fragmented the landscape, so many of the natural corridors where wildlife could get to water are now closed. And so we're probably providing a source that some of these animals uh, could get, would have gotten to historically. So in 1946, the Arizona Game and Fish Department built its first artificial water catchment. They are designed to catch rainwater, hence the name catchment, store it, then divert it to a drinking trough. Today, nearly 1,000 water catchments have been constructed throughout Arizona. This one, on the Berry Goldwater Range, is being replaced by a newer system. Well, the old tank held approximately 5,000 gallons. The new system will be close to 10,000 gallons in capacity. The system works by collecting rainwater off of a natural watershed. It pours into the PVC pipe, which becomes the storage capacity, the storage tanks. And it's fed by gravity to a walk-in drinker. And the animals drink out of the drinker, and uh, whatever the level in the tanks is the level in the drinker. The goal of this project is to, uh, to eliminate water hauling. This is a very remote site, and it's very difficult to get a water truck to this site. And occasionally during drought years, the old system will would require water hauling and uh, that would sometimes result in busted tires and broken equipment so we hope to save a great deal of money by uh, building an efficient system that we can avoid water hauling with. At some water catchments cameras have been installed so the department can see who's using them and as this video shows just about every creature does from big game animals to birds even snakes need a drink now and then and once in a while, a youngster just needs to splash around and get wet. Oh, we feel like it's a good thing because we're stewards of the land and it does provide uh, a water source for wildlife in a time of drought, which obviously we've had a, an extended drought. We certainly don't see it as being something bad. We're very pleased with this new design because it is completely subterranean and uh, with a larger capacity, it requires less maintenance. Projects like this would be impossible for the department to build and maintain without a strong army of volunteers. Most of the people working on this project are members of the Yuma Valley Rod and Gun Club. Uh, the Yuma Valley Rod and Gun Club does probably three to four a year with the Arizona Game and Fish Department and we just enjoy it. We are sportsmen, we hunt out here, we think that they need this improvements on their water. Our club is basically focused on the hunting and fishing and outdoors and we have all kinds of young people involved in our club and this is something we can do and give back and we supply when we come out here we supply all the food and everything for even the game and fish people so we donate all the food and the cooks and our help <laughs> to try and you know because the budget that game and fish has got to deal with sometimes they can't get these done without the help that we can supply. Since this new drinker has a large underground system made of PVC pipe, it should last with little maintenance for over 50 years. One of the ways I like to motivate our volunteers is I ask them, what else can you do in a weekend that will have a positive benefit to wildlife for the next 50 or 60 years? It's hard to come up with something that competes with that. <laughs>